What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, if you notice, my car is at my brother's. And if you follow the channel, you know I only do big stuff here. So, big stuff. Big problems, I think. I hope not. Uh, got some issues. Got the motor back together. It was running pretty good. Um, and then I noticed it was just uh, sounded loud. Sounded weird. I said to my brother, I'm like, this this motor is kind of noisy, isn't it? It's a noisy motor, you know? My other motor didn't sound like this. And he's listening. Uh, maybe I'll put a clip here so you can hear what I'm talking about. But uh, he's like, yeah, I wasn't making that sound before. So I went through my uh, videos trying to, you know, see if it was making that noise before. And it's just hard to tell in video. Um, but in person, it's definitely making like a tinny. Um rattly noise of some sort I don't know it scared me it scared me so what I did was all right well let me pull the oil filter and cut it open and see and uh, let me show you guys what I found All right, so here's the first oil filter. This now, mind you, I changed the oil already uh, before I went down to Maryland. So I went down to Maryland, came back, and then noticed the noise. And so this is the first oil filter. I don't know if you can see that, but there's material in there. It's shiny. It's copper, and it's not magnetic. So that had me nervous. So what I did was I pulled the filter again, put a new one in. And I ran it for like a half hour. And this one is almost totally clean. So I'm like, okay, well maybe it's just junk in the uh, in the motor from the previous blow up. We cleaned it out ourselves. Probably should have had it sent to a machine shop and cleaned out good and thorough. But So that's what I'm hoping. And then this is the most recent one. And there's some, look at that. That's a little flake in there. Um not as bad but there's still some in there um, so I'm hoping and praying that it's just from the previous uh, you know engine issue uh, I'm gonna do the same today I have you know I'm starting to tear it apart um, but I have uh, you know the oil filter still in there I'm gonna drain the oil cut that one open and see what we see as well but uh, hold on, let me flip you guys around again so got metal and oil um, not a good sign. Oil pressure is great, so it's not the cam bearings. Um, I did some research. I have a milling oil pump in here. I read that um, sometimes the older milling pumps, the uh, timing chain would hit the oil pump. So I'm going to check that out. Um, we're going to pull the, you know, the front timing cover, pull the damper, look at that. Uh, if we don't find anything, I'm going to pull the cam out, look at the bearings, which you should never do, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. The rattle noise, maybe it's just a slappy timing chain. Manny said he changed it while he was in there because mine looked a little loose. I don't know what he put in there. Maybe it was worse than I, I don't know. But I, I have a whole new timing set, so I'm going to put a new timing set in it. Um, I have a new harmonic balancer I'm going to put on. Um, what else? Oh, the other problem I have is boost creep. I got boost creep. Uh, <laughs> If you don't know what boost creep is, uh, basically it's your boost going higher than you want it to. Uh, you have a, a spring in the wastegate and you know whatever spring you put in there, if it's a 10 pound spring, a 5 pound spring, that's what boost you should get. Um, I have a 6 pound spring in there, it goes as high as 16. I didn't have this problem before, I think maybe, I mean the only difference is this motor is uh, you know like a point and a half higher compression. And that makes sense to me. I mean, it's more exhaust flow, higher compression, and uh, the single 44 millimeter gate just isn't keeping up. So I got another 40, it's a 46 actually, the precision 46 millimeters, but I got another one. We're going to add that onto the uh, large pipe right there. Where is it? Um, we're probably going to put it, you know, anywhere it fits really. And I also got 
some of these uh, bellows. Um, they're just flex joints here. We're going to incorporate that into the, uh, the merge pipe somewhere, um, mainly because I have issues with um, exhaust leaks, like, uh, you know, on this flange right here, it, uh, it always leaks. And I even put some copper gaskets on there. Um, to no avail, but it's just it's stainless steel, so it grows and shrinks with the heat, and it just it's a pain in the ass to seal it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put a flex pipe in there. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been up to, and um, I'll let you guys know the results. Okay, so uh, the thrust bearing is wiped out. Got like twenty three thousandths of play on there. It only had like six or seven when we put it together. Um, it sucks. There's no other way to put it. That sucks. It sucks. I don't know what caused it. I did some research. It's usually guys with automatics and torque converters, you know, pushing up on the crank or whatever. Um, that's, you know, sometimes if you have not enough end play on your clutch, it can push on there, but that's clearly not happening because the crank moves freely right now. Um, Yeah, uh, metal loss for words. I don't. It just sucks all around, dude. That sucks. And uh, depending how bad, how bad it rubbed the thrust bearing out, it, it could have uh, wiped the crank. Uh, yeah, it sucks, man. I just did a quick search of almost 800 bucks for a new crank. Then you gotta have it balanced. You know, you gotta tear the whole motor apart again, do all that again, machine shop, balance it. <sighs> yeah. Don't really. I have anything else to say? I mean, that's that fucking sucks, man. You gotta pull the motor, tear it apart, and hopefully the crank's not fucked. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so it's the next day, and uh, we got the motor out. I didn't video any of that just because it's just redundant pain in the ass work um, so yeah we got the motor out and um, yeah first thing we did was uh, take the number three main cap off along with the thrust bearing and sure enough it's uh, it's worn out um, there's little grooves on the side of it that allow the oil to flow past and uh, 
yeah, those are basically worn out, gone. Um, maybe I'll put a picture in here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why it happened, but it definitely did happen. And, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, there was like 23,000 to play on there. Uh, the crank looks like it's okay. Like, we caught it early enough that it didn't start gouging out the crank. So that's good, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna order a bearing, a new thrust bearing. We're gonna slap it in there and hope for the best. Um, like I said earlier, we, we checked all the other stuff as far as like um, tension, you know, from the from the clutch and the throw out bearing, like pushing on the crank, that could cause it to wipe out, but no, it's, it's not that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to put it in there and uh, check the clearance and make sure that that is, is good and correct. And it was before, too, but I don't, yeah, I don't know what happened, why it happened. But it happened, and uh, it sucks because something like that where you don't, it's not obvious what the culprit was. And, you know, we're going to fix it, but who's to say it doesn't happen again? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened, why it happened, but uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass, it's a lot of work, and it's kind of a bummer, but um, I'm happy that it doesn't look like the crank is messed up, so that's good. Um, yeah, we're gonna, now we're just waiting on parts, so maybe next weekend, and then uh, you know, we'll slap it back in the car, and uh do the other stuff I want to do I'll put the new timing set on put the add the wastegate I got the new um, harmonic balancer for it and uh, hopefully this time it doesn't fail it's just yeah I don't I did some research and you know most of the people having trouble with thrust bearings is uh like automatic guys I don't know if you ever heard of ballooning torque converters uh, basically it's, it's pushing up on the on the crankshaft and puts tension on that thrust bearing that face and uh, wears it out um, you know other things are like if excessive clutch riding when you're in traffic yada yada which I'm not that kind of driver never was and if if I was, then why the hell did the last motor last nine years with me riding the clutch and this one? So, yeah, again, I have no idea what the hell went wrong there, why it killed the thrust bearing, but it did. Um, nothing blatantly obvious yet. Probably not going to be anything obvious. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, yeah, get some parts, put it back together, slap it in. I don't know. I don't know. If it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck. <laughs>